Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon region, the Hede region. Today, obviously, we'll be going over the grass types. Uh, next time, I think, is Psychic. Um, I'm kind of looking forward for Fire, because that's probably one of my favorites, which will come right after Psy Psychic. Um, but these are the grass, I guess, so yeah. Crabblade, you know about him. Or her, or <laughs> them, I guess. You can't really just say genders for Pokemon, because species-wise, I guess. Uh, actually, Salandit, that's kind of a strange evolution string and whatnot, but these aren't he's, they're um, they's, I guess, because they can be either gender, along with most of the other ones in here. Crowbomb, you know, Lobster, you know. Leafwing. <clears throat> this Pokemon is r closely related to Desidui. I said that right that time. It constantly shows signs of growth and empowerment, but it doesn't evolve. It leaves, or it uses leaves that grow from its wings and body as blades it throws at its opponents. 120 HP, and it is a grass and flying type. Um, <clears throat> Totria. This Pokemon hides underneath fallen to. Tara leaves. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. Its true form is hidden until it evolves, uh, but it still hides itself. Anyways, 80 HP. It's a grass type, obviously. Um, and its evolutions, um, I forgot to change them when I was changing up the name. Um, it's still based off of, uh, what you call it, tree, but it's, it's a tree that I originally was finding in Hawaii what not all that stuff. Anyways, Totara pile. Um just like a normal Totara tree, it loses it loses all of its leaves in the fall. These leaves will become the home of yet another young Totaria. 110 HP and it is a grass type. Vinopus. I didn't like this one that much, but I really really like the evolution. The I guess evolutions. This Pokemon hides in trees waiting for a well-matched fight. It curls up into a ball and disguise its, it disguises itself as a fruit. 90 HP, and it is a grass type. Its evolutions are Vineal and Serpentivine. This one is one that I kind of liked, I guess, but I really like the next one. Vineal. It looks like dried-out vines. It usually waits in the ocean... ocean or beach to find a fight. It will fight with much resilience and strength until it is smashed. But when it is smashed, it comes up again. 130 HP. This one is really strong. The next one at least. Grass and water. Serpent of Vine. So this Pokemon is really strong, as you can see. It originally had 200 HP. This Pokemon's gills have finally formed, so it spends most of its time underwater. Only mo the most courageous and strong-willed trainers can catch it. Supercharged plankton causes it to glow due to reactions with the plants beneath its shell. 170 HP, as I was talking about earlier, and it is a grass and dark type. Exobug. As it grows, its skull grows over its scales. It is most definitely not the hardest shell, but this Pokemon can really pack a punch due to its light, weight, and agile body. 70 HP, Grass and Bug. Hitayan Charmander. This is a regional variant, as you can see. This Pokemon has changed under different circumstances and has learned the power of plants. I couldn't come up with a better definition. 60 HP, Grass and Dragon type, and it evolves into Charvalian. Charvalian. This Pokemon is very different from its brother species, Charmeleon. Rather than burning anything it touches, it uses its power to heal wounded Pokemon, plants, and humans. 90 HP, Grass and Dragon. That brings us to the end of the Grass Elementals for the Hede region. Um, but there still will be more because they have more minor types, I guess, whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did, and bye.